I'd love to play a uh, pray for Grinfold Oxmire. I wish him the best. I want him to be successful on his journey. But I was told that the deity I choose has no gameplay effect, so I <laughs> I I know that praying is useless. Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn is one of the most disrespectful games I've ever played, despite innocuous appearances. As with many MMOs, it first asks you to create your player surrogate character. This comes with all the regular problems that entails. The game immediately begins projecting ideas and concepts onto your new virtual doll, and you're given a limited number of ways to react, none of which may reflect your actual personality to any degree. In addition, everyone keeps praising you and chanting of your undeniable importance, even though there are literally millions of other people doing exactly what you're doing. What I'm trying to say is, even by MMO trope standards, FF14 is very upfront with its pandering. It flashes focus-tested signals at you to make you feel accepted, desired, and beloved, even though you've done nothing of particular value. It's infantilizing, but not nearly as much as the overbearing onboarding process, with its mountains and mountains of cookie-cutter tutorial quests, none of which are exciting, unique, or memorable. They introduce you to systems you've seen in countless other MMOs designed to suck as much time as possible from you. As for the writing, well, that's arguably the worst part. The dialogue is incredible incredibly mind-meltingly vapid, with every NPC expressing various shades of cartoonish irreverence instead of real characterization. It feels like every interaction has to contain some sort of goofy punchline, and none of the jokes feel natural or dynamic. It's like the game is afraid to alienate anyone, and so it always gives you the option to dismiss its story by laughing at the shoehorned absurdity. I have a strong distaste for this sort of comedy, because I think it misses the entire purpose of humor. Jokes shouldn't be arbitrary forced interruptions of the ongoing flow, they should utilize existing characters and ideas to strengthen the immersion. But this is one of those games with dedicated hee hee hoo hoo jokey time jokes, and it's pretty insufferable. And even when the characters are written in a more traditional fashion, they're painfully shallow. Everyone's personality traits, thoughts, feelings, and favorite colors are vomited aggressively from their forever flapping mouth holes without any inhibition. Subtext is kept incredibly minimal, and the game rarely, if ever, asks the player to actually think about what's happening. Because if you had to genuinely analyze someone's behaviors, facial expressions, body language, or intentions, well, that might confuse you, and you might not want to play the game anymore. So they just threw all subtlety straight into the bin, leaving nothing to do but stare emptily at the screen while puppets dance around in a farcical facsimile of human interaction. It feels more like watching an MCU film than playing a story-rich fantasy RPG. However, I would be remiss not to mention the game does have narrative themes. It pays homage to the prior version of FF14 by permanently ingraining it in canon, detailing the pain and loss of that dead world. You're told to find your identity in an aimless existence, and while you're at it, find the game's identity too. Forge something meaningful from the shattered remnants and scattered stories of Square Enix's once proud heritage. But when you do find the game's identity, it turns out it's just another average MMO, but streamlined for a wider consumer base. And sure, I only played for a few hours, but to me that is an obscene amount of wasted time. I have been told it gets better later, but I abhor the idea of paying a monthly fee for something that maybe might be unique and interesting a few dozen hours on. It's a bland way to kill time and socialize, but I think that's grotesque. Time exists to be treasured and savored, not thoughtlessly discarded, and we don't really need more pandering media which says nothing meaningful about us, the world we share, and why it matters. There was a breaking point for me where all these revelations came crashing down at once. After countless fetch quests of collecting rat eyeballs and finding vials of marmot blood, I encountered my first scripted story mission. It made me disband my party, because who wants to play multiplayer in an MMO, I guess, and forced me into an encounter with some grisly gargoyle things. You know what I did during this fight? I stood perfectly still. I stood perfectly still and watched the NPC helper kill all the monsters for me. It turns out that in this interactive experience, the interacting was totally imaginary. Even though the cutscenes kept telling me my input is valuable, even though all the characters kept praising me for my valor and strength, it turned out to be a total facade. 
This is Truman Show levels of absurdity. This isn't a video game, it's not a story, and it's not a meaningful emotional or intellectual experience. It has no respect for my mind, heart, or time. It is pure, unfiltered, ego-inflating escapism. I don't experience art to be mindlessly praised, I experience it to empathize, to learn new things about the world, its cultures, and the many people who inhabit it. I was curious to see what FF14 has to say, and, well, it seems to say nothing much at all. And to top it all off, the game is a FOMO generator. It incurs a significant monthly expense, your access to it can expire, and so you're pressured to spend as much time in-game as possible to get your money's worth. It effectively turns the entire experience into an obligation, both individually and socially. I was gifted this game, and I still felt the pressure to play more of it, even though I couldn't stand it. Phew, what a rousing fight. I haven't used any of my skills and I'm in no danger of dying and I recover health way faster than this thing can take it from me. It used a super move that did practically nothing. I think it took 1 40th of my health bar of that super move. I'm, I put the controller down and my character's auto attacking and he's gonna win just fine without my input. Impossible! Never has the golem been so sorely tested! I'm not doing anything! I'm, my hands aren't even on the controller! Stop praising me for doing nothing! I did it. This sucks. <laughs>